In this video I will show you how to remove the solenoids, what problems to look out for and how to fix them, how to refit the solenoids and how to test them afterwards. Just remove them, use these. Again, remove the top one first. You need to be careful of that because if that's overstretched the wires, you could have broken the wires. Just having a quick look at the solenoids. These are the inlet solenoids. And you can tell that because of the short wire and the number one on the cable. Each cable's got three prongs. The center prong is a common zero volts. One of the outer prongs goes to one of the solenoids and the other outer prong goes to the other solenoid. Inside the plug there's also some Sinterglass flyback diodes which I had to replace in mine so hopefully you'll never have to do that. This is a diagram representing the solenoid wiring. The colours that I've shown, black, green, red and brown are the colours that were on the exhaust solenoid wiring. The colours were different on the inlet solenoid wiring but the root of the wires is assumed to be the same. I can't see why it would be any different. This is the upper solenoid and this is the lower solenoid. This thick wire represents the circuit board. There's no other components on the circuit board. The resistance of each of these solenoids is 3.8 ohms. This patched area represents all the components that are inside the plug. The flyback diode, through reverse engineering and trying to find out what there is available, I've got as a BYW32. What I did when I repaired mine is I put two diodes in. So there's a pair of diodes, so it had double the protection. The reason for the flyback diodes is to protect the engine management system from a reverse pulse. So if there were a reverse pulse it would come down here and go around the circuit. Other problems you may encounter on the solenoid is this circuit board can become loose you can see that it wobbles there. So what I shall do is drop in some epoxy into there. Um, I've repaired mine with epoxy resin and you can also put the epoxy resin over the top of the contacts which will avoid the contacts touching the body of the Vanos and causing any short circuits. The electrical contact, the soldering in here can fail. These gaps here were originally when I took it apart were full of what looked like a very fine filter but I suspect it was old engine oil. I stripped down the plug using a Dremel and found this inside. After a lot of investigation I decided that the ball was a sintered glass avalanche diode. There were no markings on it but I decided that a max current of 2 amps should be enough. I soldered in a BYW32 diode and then decided if I doubled it up it should definitely be safer for the engine management system. I made a box to rebuild the plug and held the plug securely in the box 
while I poured in fiberglass resin and left it to set. After the resin set, I cleaned it up and sprayed it with some satin black. Before refitting anything, ensure that the Vanos is meticulously cleaned. I used brake cleaner and a cotton bud. When fitting the solenoids, coat the surfaces and the o-rings with a film of good quality engine oil. Make sure that the wires and the circuit boards won't be trapped when the solenoids click into place. Because it goes home with quite a click. That's it. I dry fitted the covers to ensure the solenoids didn't short against the Vanos body. So we're pressing home the top one first, ensuring that the wire is down the side. Click. And again. When you connect your solenoids up, you have to make sure that you connect them the right way around which is why I've made a tool. This is a circuit diagram for the tool. This is a representation of the plug on the solenoid. If you were to select position two, that would advance the inlet pinion. Selecting position one, retard the inlet pinion. With position 1 selected on the exhaust, I pressed the push button and the piston retracted. Changing to position 2 and pressing the button advances the piston. Retract and select position 0. Now the inlet. Position 2, advance. Position 1, retract. 2, advance. 1, retract, and back to 0. After disconnecting, you should always purge all the air out of the Vanos. Spell. 